Hey there, welcome to the stream. Brilliant. No, oh, Jill's working nicely, as always. Okay, uh, back into the stream of Sea of Stars. So, like I said, we wanted to just kind of just maybe near finish this game um, so we can get on to other new games. Um, so, we're just like I said, we've been streaming this for the last couple of nights now. Just for, like I said, get it, get it done and dusted. It's a, it's a big game. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot we was at Torment Peak, wasn't we? Oh yeah, that was, that was creepy. Oh, guess we can't attack them yet. Wow, these have got some right health. Ooh, okay. Some kind of shield. some light. Hello in. I can't go that way yet, so since so this way. Okay, I'm guessing we can go that way now. Onto the before well, we go that way, let's go back this way a minute. There we go, phantom daggers. Just in case, uh, daggers. Gone. 
Oh, 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 oh my god. Taking off so much damage now that my, that my magic attacks. Nah, okay. So now we can go back up and around. Really dark, isn't it? You can barely just, you know, if they were glowing, you could really not see a lot. I'll be able to take them all out with this. Maybe. Nah, maybe not. I should have done this. Some lights. Have some light. Oh, I thought he might have been gone as well. He's got one shield on him. Okay. There we go. What that? Take him out. So I'm talking about. What is it? I think there was another one on the other side, wasn't there? There must have been. Okay, we're gonna save, which we will definitely do. We're gonna quickly rest. Okay, anything?
That was a good block isolate. Magic sap. Keep on getting that up early. I'm just actually... <clears throat> Someone in there.
Okay, okay, alright. Bad. Block. How's that? out there okay mm. we've got down we'll go up one minute and let's just quickly go up. There was something here. Green leaf. Oh, that is. Excuse me. Oh, it's one of these. or something the hell are they uh sales yeah it's a bunch of fairy little butts <laughs> yep aha what the hell baby gorilla hello ma'am whoa you all look healthy is that a sword hey you're like this of a guy he could shoot tiny little sons he said he'd save our mom and then he left instead so rude don't be rude some boy what's going on here aha uh -huh. what you want what happened to your mom She's down below. We love her so much. Excuse me. She says we can't go and see her because of the monster. So we just stare at her from up here. She's so pretty. We used to run around this island. I miss the clouds. The clouds still exist. It sounds like they're talking about the gorilla matriarch. But Tig said all the vine spirits have been destroyed by the flesh monster long ago. Master mentioned this though, uh, this too. Who he said they were either destroyed or harvested. So the cubs are food for the dweller. How did our order not stop this? We just put a seal on the mountain and pretend like nothing happened. <coughs> Hey, it's rude to just talk between yourselves. Don't do this. I will help you all and get you all back outside. Really? That would be awesome. We can run around the island again. Or maybe they'll never return like our siblings. I think they were eaten by the monster. I think they found a nice room and don't want to share. Not sharing is rude. We will return. You have our words. Let's end this madness.
Can I have it? No. I'll have to start getting some ingredients. Okay, that goes that way. What's this? What's this way then? It's down below. Wow, right, hold on a minute. <laughs> What's this way first then? This is this the beginning? This is the beginning of that. Yeah, I remember because that thing there. Okay. Church, you really are alive. You should not have come. The evil of this place is too vile to confront, even for soulless warriors. What happened to you? I was subjected to the flesh monster's final affront to this world. Before leaving, he placed a seed of evil in the depths of this mountain and bound me here so my corpse would remain in close proximity. Sky, I swear. And curse to watch helplessly as they walk before me on the way to be devoured by the growing dweller of torments. And the innocent minds so easily controlled, my plea is always got one heard. What a terrible fate. How do we not know about this? Surely those who came before would have reported the presence of a divine spirit, let alone a dweller. It's all connected to the case of this place. It was devised to be the perfect layer. Layer? Memories formed within the mountain, long, longer to it forever. So the warriors came, but whenever they left, they to get reinforcements, they would remember nothing other than a crippling sense of dread. All they could do was seal the mountain and never return. I'm so sorry. There isn't much that could have been done, even if they did prepare cleansing. But it's so deep within the layer, the light from the eclipse would never touch the dweller to make it vulnerable. It has to be a way. Because to the world at large is paramount. They seal the mountain again and go. Still, I will fight. Take them around this time, I'm fighting too. Okay. So the severed mind potion keeps our memory safe, but that's useless for the fight. The soulless amulet. It should resonate with the dweller, but the light the light from the eclipse will never get in here. I have a plan. Let's go sugar the eclipse. Okay. We'll send him back now. Hey, there's a cup. Hey there, little guy. <coughs> I want to see my mum. She's over there. Come on, we'll take you to her. I feel that she is this. I feel she is the. I feel she is this way. I think you lie. Please come on, us. We talked to her, and she's very worried. Why'd you lie? I want to see my mum. Leave me alone. Wait. Why don't you try us for lunch instead, you creep? Yo. The amulet reacted. I can feel the eclipse. <coughs> Shrevy, what are you planning? 
Please make it quick. Heads up. Oh my god. useless we need more light make way sorry I'm late right on Sevi let's take this thing down Between cannons.
Come on. That's actually helpful.
Ooh, nice. Sure. I got a right. There's one hand gone. There we go. We do have to attack the hands then. Concentrate on the hands more to get them down a bit more. We'll probably be able to bat, beat them faster. Now we know.
Tschüss, Mann. There's one arm. We did it. Good thinking, shall we? Let's destroy the core. Together. Ready to... Free the... Ready to go free the mana? Mana, she? You bet. You owe us nothing, Meat Oh, but well, it's the least I can do. It's fixing the Watcher. We'll only take a moment. And its prism is how you will find what you are looking for. Well, can we go around and around the island now? Certainly, my dear. I thought we must run to the Watcher right now. Well, can we go swimming now? Because we must go to the Watcher, then we can go to the water. Watcher, water. Hey, how fast can you say you watch the water? Watch the water. Water. Watch the water. <laughs> Aha. Prism is the key. Let's see here. Use right. We go. Let's check out the world map to reveal the secret area.
Oh. That's why you can go a quick fire puzzle. Ooh, what the hell's that? Was that that file of time, wasn't it? Ah. This is it. Let's go take it to Rashin. Does it feel we can do that potion, isn't it? Or something like that? I can't remember from the last stream. Something like I think it was. I think he lives there, doesn't he? But um, I'm going to quickly check here. I never did check this sacred grove thing. Oh, maybe I did actually. Yeah, I remember this place. Is it? I don't. Is it there? I don't remember if it's there or if it's here. Excuse me. I don't remember. Who's rushing me off? Where was he? Was he down here? I, I honestly, I actually can't remember. Well, we got a few more conches, so let's go quickly go here. Yeah, turn in the conches. 23 conches. Congratulations, that's something for you. The fishing hot plans. All right, go. Cool. Is it through here? I, I can't exactly remember exactly where this thing was. I get a funny feeling it wasn't here. I actually can't remember. Might have been a faster way as well. So there. Uh... I, I actually can't remember if it was this way. I think it was in the door at the top, but I can't remember if this is the fast way, the long way or not. Let's see and figure out. 
Oh my god. There's nothing to attack. Really? Sure, this is the way. Uh, through, up, and up. Yeah. Okay. Shame might be a file. It is, you do, but we should make sure it's not an imitation. Oh, well, you could kindly throw it at the wall. I with all your strength, let break. I hope so. Oh, well, okay. Whoa. I lost time. Oh, how I've missed you. Thank you for recovering, recovering my most prized possession. You have so much bravery. Better hold up your end of the bargain now. No more Evans. Oh, mate, no mistake. I'm coming with you. But my code is strict. So there are no rules. So there are rules. Firstly, my, I may assist you in battle, but it's not my place to win for you. I may assist in battle, but it's not my place to win with, for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Wait, you really going to? Next. No one other than the four of you can be with my true identity. You will refer to me exclusively as regime. More importantly, never as the immortal al alchemist. You got it. Uh, might want to be extra careful of antiques, though. Lastly, most importantly, I'm not under. I am under no circumstances allowed to fight a dweller. A confrontation occurs with the dweller's tribe. That fight will be yours and yours alone. Understood. Can we go now? Uh, regime? Yeah. You can't come like this. Your robes are all tattered. Oh. If you don't want people to know you, you're, you're more so, maybe clothes that have been decaying for millennia aren't the safest bet. Ha <laughs> ha. Fair enough. Better. Totally. Don't lead away. My shit island is to the northeast, the one with the giant stone head. Okay. And we just go this way. Okay, back on the Vespertine. So we're fleshing out our crew here now. Machine, it's nice to meet you, Tweet. Teeks, I'm also a travel of sorts. 
Shima, huh? so you make potions? Yeah, I could say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. I see. Don't worry. I won't tell. Would you mind, though? If you promise not to tell of my true identity, you can have my story, yes. I promise. Just stand for one second here and... Thanks. Hey, I was just wondering what to do with a glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. Uh, potion guy is welcome to stay, of course. That's an island, eh? Where we're headed. Hi. That'll be roughly to the north of here. Big stone head. Can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. a hike. Now, 150 years should do it. Some to check on my work. As you can see, I have not faltered. I command your dedication. Thank you, Master. The horse has written quite a lot. How long was I asleep? An irrelevant matter. I fall left a long time ago, and his acolytes have lost most of their powers. It will not happen again anytime. It will not happen again anytime soon. I understand. How can I help? These people are your friends. I understand. Your turn. Hello, Coca. Greetings, friends. Can you help us in any way? My main duty is to hold Mesa Island at this precise altitude. Anything I can do without hindering my grip, I will gladly oblige, friends. Well then, could you remove the barrier so we can get onto it? Uh, oh, surely you know of the evil castle that sits there. There's no place to send a friend. That's the way we are headed. Not send friends into danger. I refuse. Morning, Coca. Master, have you come to check on my work? As you can see, I've not faltered. Madam, I, I command your dedication. Thank you, Master. How can I help? These people are adventurers on a very important mission and require your help. Understand. Right again. Just the same thing. Please. Hello, Coca. Being so interested. Have a mate. 
I'm a map my brothers, excellent heat. I can help them to get in no time to sell. I can help you get to them in no time to sell into my mouth and choose the destination. That's okay. Does that sound useful? But now, what we need to use to remove the barrier on the island. I see. One moment, please. There it is. Thanks, Rika. Naturally, safe travel adventures. Up we go then. Lead the way. So Stand there first. Oh. 
Mission Land Combo's called Arcane Moons. Hello. Some people may say that this is a bad spot for a shop, but others will follow in my tracks. Um, okay. Technically, it's a little bit. Oh, do you know what? I might get that. So now we've got a little bit more uh, armor on the guy as well. Yeah, he's losing one. 
magical thing, but I'm not too fussed about that, to be honest with you. So Boom. Uh. Ah, okay. Needs to go this way. Something we're missing here. down this way over there down yeah 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 through down and through okay Mm. 
I got that one now. I didn't do it twice, Dan. this first. So Hello, he's not dead. Oh. Uh, 
So. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that for a view. That's sick. A little screenshot of that. Found a new artifact. Let's see. We should have unlocked the Nomads of the Seas. Unlocked the Three Sisters. Hey, you want to hear the story? Go on, man. Oh, okay. Great summoning. What a few people know today is that. Almost no who has already been banished by the great 
by the time the great summoning happened, Shandang Hai had to be gone months prior, back when the lizard folk still had the upper hand. It was towards the end of the decades long battle, after it became clear that the Molkin mages would be the victors. On this the night of nights, air carried early cries of victory across the archipelago. Suddenly the very sky tore open and a giant sky serpent emerged to wreak havoc. To this day historians argue about the origins of the sky serpent. Some say it's a monster of pure evil, stolen from another plane of existence and forced to remain here. Others believe it came from above. The clouds once a friendly creature that had its mind corrupted by dark magic. But regardless of its origins, the sky serpent was set to change the world forever. Back in the time of Octaves, uh, the ritual of the elements could have been performed to control the sky serpent's mind. But at last, the Oviates were long gone. Earth magic being their only strength at the hand, the Molkin elementalist devised a plan to confront the threat. A carving in comp. In Trishikant, Winston straight into Extolian Mountains, they turned it into a giant musical instrument. Blowing through the mountains, the winds starting playing a melody so pure it forced the sky serpent into slumber. Music was strong, it's believed that the world would remain safe for generations, or rather for the mouse played a melody tune. In greater good, the Malkin gave up on the study of magic and established an outpost on top of the mountain. Over generations became expert and miners, living by a pledge to keep the wind tunnels operational. The brave Molkin have toiled around the clock ever since, protecting the world once a pickaxe strike at time. Despite centuries of stability, stories say that the magic enchantment of the wind tunnels will eventually fade away. One can only hope that the Octaves will return before then. The end. Oh. So we've got a few more stories. Which we've not had a chance to really read, so I might as well read them. Peaks. It said that whenever twins are born on a solace fate itself flips a coin, the innate magic would gather be would either be incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that thought to be contained for the greater good. For generations, many solace warrior twins have accomplished great deeds, but despite their immense potential, could never send into guardian gods. For ascension requires one of the winter but one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to be part for eternity. In a particularly warm summer solace, fate's coin landed on its edge, and triplets were born. As the great eagle's instincts indicated, it soon became apparent that morality has split itself into three, as if to see their ima innate magic expressed into distant flavours. Because their actions would inevitably drive them far away from one of each other, they were given an unknowingly similar names, Mariana, Yamana, and Romania. Romania was flown to Moon Cradle, where she became a formidable Solace Warrior and sent his Academy headmistress. Even though still not protector, Maya gave her life while leading the charge against the Dwarf Strife. Yamara was a natural one, better known as the Crown of Shongshu Marsh. Living a secluded wife, she is an everyday but of the distant future, offering crafted insights on key events and looming threats that may or might not transpire. At age five, she correctly predicted that the flesh monster would leave if the dweller of strife were defeated at the cost of money of his life. Despite her immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Meanwhile, Romania waited every week and moment to study what could be understood the flesh monster's ways and developed forbidden arts of her own. Who, through understanding of blood magic, she became the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls within objects. One notable in invention of hers is candles that never burn out, noticeable by uh, Romania's signature green fire. Through their extreme commitment to different paths, the three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choices one makes in life. To so live bravely and selfishly in my Mayora, Mayora and embrace on an early death while fighting for a worthy cause. Or to live a quiet and peaceful, a bit solitary life like your mama, foregoing ambition for the sake of safety and never discovering one's true self. Perhaps to indulge one's self like Romania with utter confidence in her ability to overcome any retribution she might face or as a result of her corruption. 
for the three sisters truly be a trick of fate or spiteful games of gods unknown it is simply that in our search for meaning we sometimes mistake pure misabstance for prophecy is the prophecy really the best that we shall never know the end no one the huge alchemist Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashim and Apple came out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy come at a price, the gift of immortality, immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideous under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortality coil, Spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Over time, however, Apollo grew increasingly jealous of the Hamanshu. What? He would never taste again. Thus became his wicked journey into forbidden schools of alchemy, a journey that would ever see every last bit of his good in heart despite his experiment with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As fate would have it, a powerful fully embraced evil and emerged as the flesh monster, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Machine tried intervening best as it could, but all that was ensued was unspeakable chaos and, and collateral damage as the two former friends fought like godlike powers and much struggle machine discovered the flesh minions only way you can have to be solar and lunar magic a powerful power bestowed upon these during uh, solace began training these children to become solace warriors singly tasked with culling the numbers of flesh master's creation but Pavel's knowledge was also growing eventually he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential known as dwellers they would be impervious to all forms of magic except during the total eclipse when Solace Warriors were in a very short window to attempt to take them down, as well as it turned out creatures in development feeding on local life. As their own devices for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. Armed with knowledge and power, Solace Warriors would be shown the world, tracking dwellers to determine which would be taken down during the next eclipse. If we remain vigilant, it would never be a world eater, but Shreem knew that such a stalemate would only cause a pole to devise something even worse. In despair, it attempts to get ahead. Machine boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very time space time continuum himself, successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds. He shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of archivist on an endless journey across the for all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome and search for a resolution to the films of the Flash Monster. Meanwhile, Apollo rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities to destruction it just opened up to him. I found some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflict. The two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. So the game of cat and mouse became played by dwellers and solace warriors on one level and by regime Apollo on another. Across the marriage of timelines over enormous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by a parable, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once more, it was only a matter of time until the world finally met its, met its finality, often following centuries of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of false warriors into guardian gods. As to when the machine plans on recomposing the timeline, or whenever he even knows remains to be seen. The end. Mm. Last story. The Nomads of the Sea. It was like a dream. No one believed that at first. That seemingly eternal journey could finally be over. Why then? When the current oracle of tides being so young, uh, who could confirm the long awaited discovery? But in the hearts of hearts, they knew before them, appearing even more vividly than in their vision, stood the power tower of Aunt Sudo. And it was so, and it was that that the nomads of the sea, who were traversed as abysmal plains since time and memorable, would settle at long last. When we reached their promised land, they started building next to the tower. In Doctor Who Village, generations would come and go, each following the guidance of their respective oracle of tides. 
uh, since that day they've been the guardians of Absalom, uh, waiting for the destined to be opened its gates. This new way of your memories of the nomadic days live on in the classic tales retelling the deeds of great explorers and formidable warriors. The most popular is by far the Battle of Fate Goyet, a story with so many versions it may as well be just a myth. To the best of our abilities, historians have pieced together hints from various retellings of the battle, some even de uh, de dedicating their lives to the subject. It's generally accepted as fact that the Dakarine almost went sick while crossing the territory of a gigantic sea slug. What happened next is a matter of much debate, uh, depending on the inter interpretation of key passages and to credibility of certain sources. Some claim that the Battle of Fate's Gaiot never happened, dismissing it as a fabrication meant to scare off what off would be uh, be pillagers and ancient Dakarine treasures. Uh, this theory is mostly seen as a stretch, however, given that such looters inability to breathe underwater would also be deterrent enough. Well, historians say that the giant sea slug was defeated when Dr. Ian made their last stand on a flat top sea mount, given the story its title. But others the scriptures about sunken ruins are simply too consistent to be ignored. According to the version of event, the Momar sealed the monster away when they realised they couldn't defeat it. The key was then split into three equal parts, each waiting somewhere in the deep blue for future heroes brave enough to get rid of the world of this threat. The end. Oh. Let's carry on. Alright, we've read all the stories. We'll go in there in a minute. to do that though. Definitely something to do with this. Let's see what. Oh. to be him. Oh. 
watch the Ling Minstrel. When the moon shines bright on the autumn sheaves. Come forth to abomination of fruits and leaves. like magic attack don't hurt it. Yeah. Oh. 
Suchen noch mehr nach. Boom, up the of Moon Cradle. Alina, come on, the graves. We're gonna miss them if you don't hobby. Off, off. Wait for me. See you all at once. Uh, we're too late. I wanted to see the headmistress in their back gear. How did she look? Oh, hey, Duck God, welcome to stream. Uh, yeah, I've been good, mate. Are uh, yourself? As fabulous as ever. Uh, how long is the cleansing? Maybe we can catch it when everyone returns. You just might. Today's cleansing will be performed by the biggest group to ever take down our Dwella. You can expect a swift return. Maybe we should just sit here then, huh? Aha, uh -huh. don't forget to do your chores now, huh? Oh, come on. We don't even get a break for the eclipse. Not if you want the twins to play with you later. Fine. Aha, uh -huh. be good now. I'm doing good. For, uh, well, thanks. Uh, good to hear, mate.
Oh, I can feel the magic coursing through me. You mean you don't even always feel it? Tingling? Nah, this is new. I wish I could see the headmistress and Moya fighting. Bet she's taking the dwelling on her own. She could, but the twins have to do some spins and flips and combine their weapons like the Shona's. Right. I love the dancing stitch. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, no more clips. They must be on the way back now. Ah, they're dead. Hey, so when we grow up, will we have to fight big monsters too? That's the plan for us. Looks like anyone else born on the Solace. Doesn't that scare you? Not really. It's not like we will be alone. No matter what happens, I will always protect you. You know that, right? Graves? Fine. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm -hmm. A few hours later. They have returned. Wait. What? Oh, my man, it's incredible hits. Villager, I know my man survives. It will take him a while to heal too, by the looks of it. At least the will of life was destroyed. We lost so many. Romania and the twins. Romania will never be the same. Uh, hey, does that mean he's the headmaster now? Who else? A few months later at the Senate Academy. Right. Focus for graves. You will never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. I'm trying. Try harder. You're way too slow. Hey, how about a bit of patience? Do not interfere. Oh, what? Alina? I'll be off for today. Grumpy old man. Hey, what if we left? You mean right now? Why not? I can move the platform now, so maybe I can also open the Forbidden Cavern. Sure, beat staying here. Oh, so they, they did what we did. You always wanted to be like her, Moya. Over 20 tons before we start that day. And what? We just move on? I was dumb. I don't want to be a hero anymore. I never wanted to be one. And no matter what I do, Marine always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. And all the graves. There's a way out. I find it for Well, I'm cold, and I'm hungry. We're helpless. All right, let's go back. Back to learning magic, yay. <laughs> Are you been playing on a PS3 recently? You've been playing everything good, mate? Uh, later that year, at the Winter Solace Festival. Oh, 
Oh, the great eagle. New channel, it's all a spawn. Read the name. Follow me. Welcome, follow me. May Luna might protect you. May Luna might protect you. Take some place at the Summer Solace Festival. Did you hear that? Great Eagle deliveries on two solaces in a row? Last year. I like how the, this Eagle's has got birds carrying them around, uh, children just carrying them around and throwing them, out, throwing them out. Like, there you go. Have that. Come on now. Read the name. Zale. Welcome, Zale. May Solon's light guide you. May Solon's light guide you. A few years later. Huh, back to the beginning of the game. Ha, ah, now we're talking. Keep it up, Valerie. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the snacks are ready. Oh, are you two joining us? There's plenty for everyone. I'm not sure we can show you our secret hideouts. We bought a load of games from CX online, bought a few tales of the Savage game, it's nice. Some good JRPGs. Well, time, we have to be put to them, my hard master. Okay. But please, uh, don't look which way we're going. Uh, last one there does the dishes. I remember when we were that age. Valerie Mizell always makes me smile. We should leave now. Our next meeting is today at dusk. Right. About 30 odd hours since Tales of XA1 got third in the last time I owned the game. So, are you willing to hear us out this time? Alina. You'd rather do without the bird and not sell us for his life, yes? Fresh start, perhaps? What exactly are you offering? A way out. We believe you will deem our terms interesting. Interesting and fruitful, too. Let's speak up. We'll handle everything else. Only Solus Warriors can, can join a Blood Moon. This world will be destroyed. Not before you got to leave it for a more, for a more favourable one. Are you guaranteed the graves will be safe? Alina, I. Naturally, we even have ways to make you forget if that's your wish. Forget and become stronger too. So what will it be? Mm. Yeah, I've not played a lot of the Tales games. I've got I've got all, all of them on Steam, um, but I've I played a few of them, um, but not like into hours and hours and hours into them. Like you know, maybe like for an hour or two, because they're all very long games, uh, just like most of them JRPGs. <laughs> I would like to do um, some of them now on stream because they are really good, good games. I think they're very underrated as well. The Dwell Elf Bow is not powerful. You know we can take it. Of course. That other one knows. Of course, but that other one knows about an amount in that wipes memories. It's been growing for a long time. Acolytes could be bluffing. Not given their knowledge, they had off the matriarch, plus it explains the seal. Can't you see this world is doomed regardless? Marine, Marine never stopped being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. I can't stop leaving following sail behind to die like this. We will have the condition that they can go and live with you. Would you like that? What if they refuse? Accolades need those for the Blood Moon. We'll have no choice but to accept it. Not them, I meant. Hey, wait. Let's pretend for now. We'll talk later. Ah. 
Uh, I don't know. Only one. Only one I finished main story in was Tales of Berserk on PS4. Yeah, that's uh, believe it or not, actually that's the game I started off with on the Tales of series, Tales of Berserker. I didn't actually know about the Tales of series until that game, and then and then when I got that game, I really liked it. Um, and then and then I realised that there was more like to the series. There was like you know games after that and games that came before that as well. Um, can play like five of them for 20 hours of each without finishing them but yeah that's the well that's what we're saying you can play them for hours and hours and hours on end and just like you do, it's like you've not got anywhere with them <laughs> it's just like they just carry on and on and on there you are but again that's like like a lot of me uh me, the main jrpgs that are out nowadays they are hours long you are you are i mean to be honest with you, you are getting your money's worth because uh, some of them are fantastic games, good good stories, good action and stuff like that. Uh, playing in secret hideout again. We were fit. Uh, we were training. I think we can use magic now. Is that so? Yeah, right at the beginning of the game again. So come on, speed this up now. Right. Are we just kind of Valerie Sale? Please understand. Please accept. Okay, so we are. I'm finishing that like turquoise. I don't really need to do this fishing, but I'll, I'll, I'll try and catch a crab or something. Da -da. You got a clockwork crab. Well, that's it. Alright. Oh my god, how fast is that thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I bought a triple pack from C uh, series C X for about thirty quid. It's pretty much brand new. Amazon would charge double price. Yeah, well the thing is uh, Amazon's probably new, isn't it? Uh or newish anyway, you know what I mean? You, sometimes you can get the deals on Amazon that like get, you know, with the games that are being returned that'll bring down the price. That I would I always look on that. Um because you can get the game for like, you know, ten, twenty pounds less. But CEX will always should be cheaper because it's you know, it's uh, pre owned, isn't it? There's 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 nothing brand new as far as I know. Um they're all pre owned. I mean you might get one or two coming in nowadays that they they are brand new, but it's mainly all pre owned. So they should be cheaper. The thing is CEX, like I think I think they overcharge you in a way. I think always eBay is probably probably the cheapest place to get the games. Um, for CEX, the, I mean, especially on some of the um, older games, like what you might count as retro, they, they do charge a lot of money for them, um, like too much money. But it's it's a good it's a good place to go and get games. Like I got a game um, only yesterday. That was actually quite newish for the Switch. Um, I can't I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, done by the guys that make Dangapora. Um, it's like um, some like mystery mystery one, um, but it's on exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll get that, and it, and it you know worked out a little bit cheaper than anywhere else by about a fiver. So yeah, you can get some good bargains. There we go, we've got all of them. But again, if you I mean if you're P, uh, I mean if you PC, um I mean all them games are like a couple of quid nowadays, except for the, the newest ones. Uh all my local have Silent Hill PS2 quid for about 310 quid down. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. I I, I mean Silent Hill's a classic. Is it worth 310 pounds? No, it's not. 
you know what I mean? And yes, I know it's it's like PS2 and it's probably one of the original ones, but it's still not worth 310 pounds. It really isn't. Uh, especially for how janky that game is as well. <laughs> like the control system on them old games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not a really good game though. We'll just quickly rest, make sure we will. Um... But yeah, I've seen I've seen games going in there for like God like three hundred to five hundred quid for like PS2 ones and like that. Why? Like they're not they're just not worth it, you know. Like because it's not as if they're like in brand new seal. Uh, you know, I can understand it if like they were sealed and stuff like that. I I could understand it because you know you like you're getting your maybe your value for money, especially if you're trading them. But if they're opened up and they've been used, they're not worth it. They're definitely not worth it. It will look um looks like to be a spin-off title that I presumably sold poorly, but still. No, um Silent Hill was uh, pretty big at the time. Um it's not a spin-off title. Um Yeah. No, it was it it, it was it was huge at the time. Um it was it was like it was like um, it was just before Resident Evil really kicked off Silent Hill, um, uh, uh, like uh, Kojima. Um, I don't know if he had a hand in uh, Silent Hill. I think I, I, I pretty, I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it was a really really good actual uh, horror game. Um, I remember playing it. It was like it's really really good. But again, is it, is it worth 310 pounds? Probably not. I don't think so. And I mean, even, even if it's the original one, I wouldn't care if it's that. Uh, how the hell? Hold on a minute. Right, okay. Bang, bang, right. resisted We're just talking about um, how expensive classic games have got in your local charity shops, or uh, as we call them, second-hand shops around here. <laughs> up again yeah they are expensive What's up? 
And uh, Duck God's, um, he's been buying some um, games from uh, what, a CEX um, over in this country. It's like, it's kind of like GameStop that you've got over there, but it's more of like um, free owned. There's nothing brand new. Um, but with, um, and he was able to get some games for like really good prices. But like, there's like a Silent Hill PS2 uh, game for like 310 pounds. Like, that's a lot of money for a Silent Hill game. Yes, it's a, it's it is an original one, but you know, um, it too too expensive to be honest with you for one game. Especially as you could just like I said, you could you, you could easily get that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially with like how good the emulators are nowadays as well, um, and even on um, I, I'm pretty sure um, with the PS Plus you could probably buy you could probably play it digital. Uh, I would be guessing so nowadays. I know it's not the same as having the original disc and the artwork and you know all that kind of stuff, but again, three hundred three hundred pounds, yeah, it's really really expensive. No, no, I was hiking up the classic games, to be honest with you. I remember 10 years ago, uh, what me, if you guys have those, found some Super Nintendo games for about $5. So we don't have um, that. What, what we do is that uh, we have car boot sales and markets. It's kind of like a market's kind of like a swap meet. Um, but I, I, I know what exactly what you're going on about. But uh, yeah, in this country, it's like uh, car boots. Like you could go around the country and people are just selling stuff out the back of the car <laughs> in like a field. <laughs> You know what I mean, and uh, and you could go, you could go find some, you know, good like you know Mega Drives and you know Sega Genesis and you know Nintendo games and all that kind of stuff. You know, very very reasonably priced PlayStation games and stuff like that. Uh, can't get them at that price anymore. Well, no, I, th I think the games markets, it, it it it's you know it's inf the inflation of classic games nowadays is crazy. But I think everyone just jumped on the bandwagon, didn't they? couple of years ago and then um, and, and i think what didn't help the market is when they started selling mario games for a million quid that, like come on really like it's i don't i don't care if it was made out of 24 karat gold it wasn't worth a million quid like you know what i mean there are a lot of people wanting to collect and that's the thing it's supply and demand isn't it and, and this is this is what makes them so expensive because there's so many people wanting to collect uh, especially physical you know because that's the thing not a lot of people collect digital games like i collect digital games you know what i mean i've got so many of them but the thing is if and and you know touch wood i don't think it ever would but let's say steam just boom went up i think everyone would be in the same position i would be in they wouldn't have access to the games no more and like i've got like you know we're near enough five thousand games now <laughs> just on that one marketplace um so if that ever went well look at all the money i've spent over the years as well where if you've got physical and i, and I can understand that you've got it there you know i've got physical games here that i can see in front of me right now they're not going to go anywhere um, and they'll only appreciate in value as well because they'll be worth more to somebody that really wants it um so yeah well, Nintendo games never really go down. To be quite honest with you, and that's the thing with Nintendo. They they can they can price at sixty dollars for the next four or five years because they know people will pay for it. Where and, and, and again, it's very different on the PC market, as you know, where something can come out sixty quid, and then literally the week after, you could have a twenty. You know, you could have like twenty dollars off or something like that on a sale because it's just not done very good on the Steam. Uh, you know, and it's it's buyer power on PC. Really, it's uh, people. You know, basically saying no, this, the game's not very good or whatever. So they'll just go right, get it out on sales. Um, Nintendo don't have to do that. They really don't. You know, every game that they produce is just going to be a bestseller. You know, what I mean, even if it's not good. I mean, look at the like latest Pokemon games. I didn't think they were very good, but they were like the best sellers, and they've and the, and the pre-sales alone sold millions and millions and millions. 
so they don't have to lower the price now i mean you still got mario kart from the wii u that's still selling for like 60 quid <laughs> you know what i mean like how they, i don't know how they can do it but they can yeah i know and it it is crazy what nintendo can get away with and we'll just go yeah okay <laughs> and that's, i think that's the problem as well we're willing to pay for it we, we don't really kick up a fuss that much in it yeah mario kart 8 or whatever yeah exactly and the only thing they've added on to that is the the, the, the pass thing recently uh what a year or two years ago which is that's a pretty good value for money you get a lot of tracks for it but yeah it's so so expensive now games I mean, I, 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 even um, i was reading something the other day and i think it will become the normal where you, like the, they're gonna up the charge from 60 to 70. well i think pc kind of like have that now like I'm, i mean you're looking at a lot of these games that are coming out now they're 100 pounds yes they're the ultimate editions you know what i mean but i think we're getting there with just the standard editions as well because if you don't buy the ultimate edition you're kind of losing out on value because it's going to be more expensive if, if you buy the standard and like uh and like a season pass let's say and then if you want the dlc and all that kind of stuff with it as well you might as well buy the ultimate pass or the ultimate edition sorry and that's like 100 100 pounds you know what i mean for every single ultimate edition there enough like every single game that's come out recently has got an ultimate edition and it's around about 100 pounds it's like so like for the latest like what four games i could be paying like 400 pounds in like a month <laughs> you know what i mean that's just why games pass is so popular as well as well because you don't have to do that it's it's so expensive to actually be a gamer i mean there's some good games out there but i don't know whether they're worth 100 pounds even with all the added uh extra dlc and season pass and all that kind of stuff I use game pass like he's tried before you buy yeah to be honest with you i try um i mean i've got games pass for the next three years um obviously what i did was at the time which you can't do now uh which uh you 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 bought the um what was it the the uh the game the, the thing that you got every month uh was it gold games for gold or whatever the hell it was called and then i bought three years worth of that and then when the ultimate came out the games pass it was able to upgrade it for one pound for the next three years so that's what i did um, and i've still got like i think it runs out like in 2025 or something like that <laughs> so it's like crazy uh, but I, to be yeah i remember that deal yeah <laughs> you can't do it now obviously because games for gold is obviously gone um which is a shame uh, they did it on playstation as well but not as good and um, you if you bought the um i can't remember what it was what it was called before the, the stupid system that it is now you was able to buy like two three years out of it and then convert it same as nintendo switch as well you could do it with that as well if you bought the original nintendo switch um pass you could upgrade that for like less cost but it wasn't as good as the micro uh, with the xbox deal like literally for a pound like for like for years worth like okay i'll have that thank you <laughs> Game, uh, i i yeah the games pass and, and even playstation plus to an extent is actually really good games pass is a little bit better because you have day day one releases um if you've signed up to it i mean for instance like power world because it was in early access and i didn't know what it was i was able to play it day one i think you know and actually like oh actually this is really good and i will go buy it on steam um just to support the game um uh, and and but do it need to no because i can play all of the content for literally next to nothing i think that's a, a lot of games that's pretty good for your games pass it's pretty good value especially if you have family playing it you can't really do anything for yeah it's true 15 pound a month is a bargain for a family 
like you know what i mean i've got two kids myself and i've got xboxes and it's on and you know so the games pass that i have on my pc is on there on so they can just boot up any time that they want and play basically how many games <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like over 300 plus games that's in the back catalog and then plus you get games every single month you know what i mean all the new releases onto it you, you just can't beat it um because you really don't i mean because you don't have to buy anything then um i mean i would always say go support the devs anyway if you like it buy it but you don't need to you know because you've already supported them by buying games pass they're getting the loads of money off xbox Oh, that wasn't very good, was it? Get rid of you. Alright. And you. Yeah, I, th I think indie games are the... a little bit different, aren't they? Because, like, yes, some, some will uh, go to, like, Games Pass and all that, but not a lot. You know what I mean? It's more, it was, I, I would say it's more double A and triple A's that go to like Games Pass and not a lot of indie games. Like, you know, some do, but I think Steam is really good for indie games as well because there's so many on there. Like, there's just, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot that don't go to consoles as well. I just get them. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah, okay then. Level them up a little bit extra. I don't own many games on PC as I mainly play FM on it. Oh, you know, yeah, that, I mean, you know, I really have to own a lot of games to be honest with you to have fun. Like, um, my brother has a friend who has a, a who's an indie game dev and he has an indie game on Game Pass for a while. That's nice, that's good. Yeah, I think I think nowadays. I, I mean, to be honest with you, like, and I was thinking about it the other day. Like, you could literally, I mean, start off with complete blank Steam account with nothing on there, and within, I honestly, within a day, I could have a, a hundred games on there for free. It's true, I, if not more, because there's so many free-to-play games now as well that actually really good games and you can get a lot of content out of them and you don't have to buy anything for them either you know that's always optional um but there's so there's so much stuff out there now i have my brother if if game pass compensated him well or if he took or if it took advantages i think it's i think it's one of them isn't it i think it's like epic games isn't it i think i, I don't know I'm, I'm pretty sure to give them like a like a lump sum um for like how many downloads it is or something like that i i, I think that's how it works that's like how i think how, how epic games works or something um i think it's kind of very very similar to how epic games do it with their free games uh obviously it's um or they must or they just basically rent them out for like a license like a period and go right we want you on games pass for like a, like say let's say 12 months or six months or one month and they'll probably pay them for that much time yeah he said a friend told him it was pretty lucrative and worth it and made him feel i feel better to support the game pass yeah well i mean again again and then again and whether you like epic games or games pass or not um i think it is good for developers in that respect because like if you've and again on steam you can get lost you know there's so many games on steam like especially indie games as well um 
it, you, you might not get the required money back in a way so if you're if you're like if you're like if epic games or games pass or or playstation plus or whatever wants you on 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 there and then going hey we're going to give you a big pile of cash for being on there you're probably going to go yeah okay because it just makes sense because you can pay the bills and and, and, I, and for smaller devs that's what it's really all about it's just paying the bills you know what i mean it's about obviously making something that they they love but mainly it boils down to like can we pay the bills can we pay the guys that have made this game for us you know so a lot of them will take them deals um and then hopefully because it's on games pass or epic games or whatever it'll have a bit of traction on it and then people actually see that and go oh okay yeah we'll, we'll buy that and then they'll probably just wait till it goes on steam or something like that and then buy it Yeah, I don't think it hits the little guys. I think it helps them in a way. Um, I had some games I tried on Game Pass. I probably wouldn't have known if they weren't there. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I think, but that's what I'm trying to say. It gives you that. It gives them games that traction. And yeah, I'll, I'll wait until they're on Steam. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it gives them that traction that they do need. Because, like I said, on Steam, how many games get released every day? I, I honestly there's probably about a thousand if not more every single day and you'd be thinking what surely not that many yeah that many because there's so many games getting released on a daily basis and some of them you just never hear hear about until maybe they're on a sale or steam promotes them or you're just looking through like that creator thing uh, if you've ever tried that on steam like fuck detective yeah <laughs> like like luckily enough i knew about that game but you didn't you 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 only come across it on games passing you was like oh i'll give this a go and you liked it and now you know about it you're like ah okay i like that i'll i'll try and go and get the other ones because you know there's three in the series or if you didn't you'd, you'd look you'd look for it and go i wonder if there's if there's another one you know what i mean or or maybe again even that to respect it's like oh that game was good what, what what else the devs make as well what else have they got and you'll look into that and go oh they make this game they make this game oh i'll give them i'll give them a little go as well so it, it's it's actually really good promotion for the for the team that make them games so it's not just money it's more like i said it's it's like being a streamer it's more people like having eyes on you and then knowing about you uh, it's a bit like weird, weird in mouth as well. Oh, that game's on there. You go try it. Oh, yeah, I like that. Games Pass does give you a little discount on buying them as well. Yeah, it does. I think it's like 10% or 20% on certain games. I'm not too sure. Um, there's some funny games on Steam. I can't repeat some of them I've seen. However, <laughs> that is true. There's a, there's a lot of, um, let's say, risque games on Steam. <laughs> so probably in San uh, has in increased sales. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, uh, I would say, like I said, if you're, um, like I said, any kind of, like if you made a game right now and then you put it on Steam. Yeah, there's some questable stuff on there. And within a week, it's not really like done as good as what you think. And then a Games Pass comes along, go on Epic Games, like I said, and go, hey, we want you on the Games Pass, or we want to give your game away for free, i.e. in Epic Games way. We're going to give you this lump sum. You'd probably go, yeah, okay, no problem. Because you know the traction it's going to make, and then it's going to probably promote more sales in the long run especially if people then stop talking about it and go oh pick up this game give it a go you know it's all it's all you know weird of mouth it's all oh yeah that's good that I'll, I'll have a look at that and even if you've missed out on the games pass uh, or the free one you know if it's cheap enough you're probably going to go okay or put it on my shortlist and I'll, I'll pick it up on a sale I like when small uh, games go viral, like Lethal Company, yeah. 
Well, it's always nice, isn't it, when, like I said, like a small company that maybe took years to build a game and they've just gone, you know, viral and started selling. I mean, I mean, I mean, the big one at the moment's Power World. You know what I mean? Yes, the company themselves are not a very small company. They're actually quite a big company, but they are still an indie studio. Um, and you look at what as that has done. And it's actually shaken up the landscape um, of the gaming community at the moment because now you've got actual companies looking at them and going, wow, I wish we were so successful as that. What have they done to be successful? Well, they've made a game that a lot of people like and why did they like it because it's got a lot of elements that of all these other games that you like and they've just stuck it all together you know what i mean and it's actually a really good a game yeah right yeah hearing about all them struggles that makes their devs seem extra endearing it's true I think I think look, I think if you're in the if you're in the game making community, you always want your games to be good and hit and always have that um, the customers having a good experience. But it's not always the it's not always the it's not it's not always the case. I mean, you could make a game for six seven years and then it just not hits and no one picks it up or they pick it up within the first weekend because of whatever issues that the game has got whether it be bugs or whether it's just not good gameplay and just people abandon it you know what i mean i think there's a lot of them games as well and that must be heartbreaking really in a way as well because you've took all your you know your time to make this game and it's just like yeah see you later <laughs> we don't care about this and there's a lot there is a lot of games like that and then you've got other games that just hit it like power world and it's like wow what have they done I like Power World. I think they understood the fun stuff from a handful of uh, genres and hit them out. Yeah, I think the good. And I think the, I think with Power World, it's not just like the Pokemon with guns aspect of it, which is a, a big thing. But I think it's all the automation thing. I think you know what I mean. Uh, you you've got like games like Factoria and all that kind of stuff, and it's all the automation thing. I think people kind of love that stuff. Uh, and then you've got the like the survival side of it, a bit like Rust or uh, whatever. You know what I mean? And, and people like that. That. And you've got so you've got these different and you've got like kind of like shooting games like fortnite can it kind of and breath of the wild as well and that's in there so they combined all these elements into one game and the thing about the game as well it's not that hard to play the game it's very very simplistic and i think that's it that's good as well for like any age because you don't have to learn about this 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 and this to get into the game it's just play the game you do that you do that and that does that and you go oh, okay that's dead easy to so they've basically simplified um all them genres as well so it's really really easy easy to just get your hands on and go have fun with it yeah they've combined them very well like i said a lot of people will be taking note of what they've actually done and they will actually be changing their game right now to make it more like their games so it's more of a success Oh, I forgot who resist all that. It's very simple, and it isn't the grandies for newspapers as door games. Like, yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's what this is what I'm trying to say. Like a lot of like you know farming games and stuff like that they, they take a long time to get into uh, a, a lot of the automation games they they're really hard to get into because they're so complex and they're enjoyable don't get me wrong they really are enjoyable but they are really complex as well uh, to get into they got knocking up there all oh, right it must be around here and then it must be around there And then, and then, yeah, we're going a long way around, are we? Okay. There we go. <laughs> All the way around there. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that grappling hook a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
I'm pretty far into this game now, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure exactly how far, but it feels like we're maybe, maybe halfway through it. Maybe. We got this um the, this the storyteller in our party now, so uh, yeah, I think I think we get we think we're getting there. Boom, 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 boom. Got ya. Oh, they resisted it. How is he not dead? I remember to swap this magic guy out when this fungus guy is over here so he doesn't hurt them. Oh yeah, I can change that. Do that now. Do 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 do. Uh, as I did with um, her plumey yesterday, I'll give you a name change for free. What would you like the name to be? Is your xenomorph eggplant? <laughs> mm. Oh, hi, Anthony, mate. Uh, welcome to the stream again. 
Right, I think the magic's right. We need to maybe we probably want a bit more physical, I suppose. Magic defense. Yeah, a bit more of that. on that one uh, I only found out a year ago that they called uh, aubergines outside the US yeah 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 they called aubergines in this country yeah we don't yeah it was funny as well today as well um because like I went shopping uh, as you know um, and I took my two kids with me and uh, and I, honestly my little in because he watches YouTube all the time he's more of American than he is English <laughs> Honestly, and uh, he was like, "Oh, Dad, can we get these eggplants?" And I'm like, oh, "Eggplants? What the hell are you going on about?" And he was like, "This thing, and I'm like, that's an aubergine." And he went, "No, nah, no, nah, the eggplants." And I was like, "No, the aubergines." <laughs> like, and it's, and I even and I even shown them the the you know the little the little card that you get on them to you know so you and it's like aubergine. He's like, "Ah." Oh, Nah, they got it wrong. They're definitely eggplants, Dad. I was, I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, some lights right in there. On the, you know, no, that's it. That's coming from. Which is that? Is that better? Yeah, I love eggplants. <laughs> Uh, magic. Uh, uh, we'll go for yeah. Defense for this guy. Right. Um. You sure where we're meant to be going? We can go. Oh, I'm guessing we can go across this way. What was this way again? Okay, that was back over there. Well, we can go up, we can go down. Let's just quick see what down is. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay, this... I'm guessing we've got to go back up there and switch some levers over. Okay, it was worth coming down here to investigate. And I love a dip that's made from them called Babagmash. Uh, Duck God, I'll catch you all later. I'm going to bed. Yeah, thanks for joining in the stream. Uh, have a nice one, Duck God. Um, uh, by the way, if you if you're around, uh, we've got a birthday stream coming tomorrow. Uh, so it's my birthday, so if you can join on in, uh, we're also going to give away a gift as well. Uh, it's one lucky viewer. Uh, so yeah, uh, come on in, and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. If not, um, send me a message on um, Discord, and I'll, I'll I will reply back. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out, mate. Okay. Uh, hmm. How do we get over there? Can we just jump it? Mm, no, we cannot. Hmm. Hmm. We we blow them ones down. I'm not too sure. Ah. Right. I thought it was missing something. Get 
Hmm. Guess I'm gonna come back for that one. Well, unless it's a. Can we actually? Can we jump down this hole? Ah, <laughs> spirit of the ninja certainly was. Uh, you'll be able to us on the U.S. American football Super Bowl. Oh, I did not know that. So, so many people are going to be partying for you. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. Is that, is that uh, isn't it really? <laughs> I did. I did not know that. Uh, what was that then we just got? Spirit of the Ninja, hold well on a minute. Is it, what, what, hold on a minute, what is it? Spirit of the Ninja, combo points build 10% faster. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Spirit of the Ninja we are then. Oh, we should give it to him then, really, shouldn't we? He's the ninja. Well, he's the assassin, but doesn't matter. It's, a, it's about the combo point things, so it'll build up faster, which is quite handy, actually, to have, because they take a while to build up. Yeah, sounds OP, doesn't it? Ah! We don't we drop down. Uh, which way? Which way was it? Yeah, it was this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, I, that's a think then. What the hell? Which was the way it was meant to be going? Uh, what's this? Looks like this mushroom should. Okay. The power of the light! Yeah! That's sick. Boing! Boing! Got yet. I don't watch football, but I'll cook some wings and treat for your birthday instead. That sounds nice. To be, to be honest with you, it's going to be a nice quiet one. That's what, that's what I want. I, I've asked for no fuss, no nothing. <laughs> Just quiet. <laughs> that's my birthday treat. Quiet and rest. <laughs> I might get some, some, something nice to cook, and uh, and maybe a little, and maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit of cake more for the kids. Yo, what the hell? Alright, I've just done. Lock ya. Oh, it was the wrong guy. It was the wrong guy. You're dead. What? Bye bye. That's it. Nice chill birthday. That's it. That's what I want. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it's just, is this not the way? Looks like it definitely is the way. Ah, let me get up there. Like that must have to open the mushroom or something. Hmm. I'm guessing that not not the way yet. Must have to do something. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Not that way. So it's that, so then I'd have to like jump from there to there. Right, I get it, I get it. Let me, let me, let me up, let me up. Really? How do I? Right, there we go. All right, so night time is the mushrooms. Daytime is the other ones. Right, okay. All right, so we figured that out. We just need to... Time. Here we go, I'll see you do it. Alright, see what's down here first. Alright, nothing. Actually, um, Renji, while you was uh, while you was here, um, I, I don't know whether you was actually interested in it or not. Um, you you've heard the humble bundle, yeah, and um, they were actually doing um, <laughs> uh, the Incor in Cavill 2023 Painter and More bundle. Um, so it's a thousand a thousand pounds so it's a bit more a bit more than dollars uh worth of software you get the latest cobble painter paint shop pro and you get all these different like brush strokes and different things like that um i'll put it in there i'll put it in the um i'll put it in the chat um if you want to have a look at it because you know obviously you're into your art and all that kind of stuff Let's just make sure that works. Yeah, that's that should work. That link. 
yeah it's a it's a really really good bundle deal as well as soon as i seen it i thought of you <laughs> because obviously i know you like your art your art and your and like you know you use different stuff for your business and stuff like that and this is there's a lot of different stuff on this there's videos as well uh video and there's an after shot as well for your photography but there's also different like loads of different stuff uh you paint uh, you paint shop pro um yeah, I mean, it's probably more you than me because I'm not really into all this cuss, but I just thought of you straight away and it uh, for, you know, for £23 or probably like $25 or something like that for £1,000 worth of stuff, it definitely might be worth you having a look at it. And whether it's uh, something that you're interested in, that obviously that's completely up to you. I just thought, yeah. It looked really good. I was looking at it before. I was like, oh, yeah, if I was an artist, I'd probably buy that. <laughs> right, let's dash strike these. Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, these are the full versions, though, as well. Um, so I I used to come up paint years ago. They got too expensive to keep up upgrading, but trying a new version for fake with all the bonus stuff sounds great. Thanks for sharing. Oh, no, that's no problem. No problem at all. Yeah, but I know what you're saying. Um, I used to use cobble paints uh, a long time ago. Um, I, more for like a uh, coursework when I was in school. Yeah, to do stuff. I was never, you know, a painter, but you know, things like that really did help um, to put like coursework together and stuff like that. Um, but I know what you mean. Um, every year they kept on upgrading and different skews and stuff like that. But yeah, the description models these days. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, um, I'm not too sure, but. I know that these ones that I have put in the in link, they are the full programs. Uh, I like you said for, for thirty dollars for everything for like a thousand dollars worth of stuff for thirty dollars, it's definitely like oh okay then that that's 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 a good value for money. Yeah, and again, whether you'll use everything unsure, but you probably might go oh actually I actually use all I would use all this. I, I was looking at it more for the video editing stuff and um, because i want to start more editing my videos a little bit better for youtube and i need to find something so yeah adobe is really expensive <laughs> i already have to pay a lot for adobe creative suite so i have to cut out some of the monthly ones to save yeah adobe's i think that's the one though mostly everyone uses isn't it adobe but it is real again it's a it's a subscription now isn't it you can't just buy the license and it's forever no more which you used to be able to do um you know it, it, it's all subscription isn't it nowadays whether it be tv uh art video you know i mean games it's all subscription it's it's crazy how the how the market's gone for everything keep on forgetting they resist let's change this guy in a minute Um, yeah, it's like sixty dollars a month for the full suite. It's gone midnight. Happy birthday to Chrono Pixel Gaming. Thank you. <laughs> it definitely has gone midnight. It's one. It's one thirty-seven in the morning. <laughs> Will this hurt them? I don't think this is going to hurt them, is it? Oh, it's going to hurt one of them. There you go. You're gone. Double hellos. There we go.
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, before I go that way, before I go that way. Oh, so there must be like a key for that. What was this way then? Oh, this is the way that I came before. Matt, okay, okay. So we need a key to get through here. Right. So we must have to go this way then to go and get that key. Uh, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh, hello. House in the middle of nowhere. At least with the full Adobe Suite, I get Adobe Premiere 2 and it's the video editing software. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what I need. Um, I do. I, I mean, I'm using the the, the the free Microsoft thing at the moment, uh, the Chip Champ thing, which is actually not so bad for free. Um, it's not got a lot of stuff in it. It's just very simplistic. But I don't, I don't need very um high production value video editing software yet but I, I am looking at it because i want to start like making like one video a week uh for my youtube channel uh rather than just uploading videos like like i am doing now from my twitch um i'm making a bit more content for for my youtube um you know just and so obviously i've got me uh twitch vods that go over to youtube and that's what it's used for mainly at the moment because obviously twitch don't keep your vods not for long anyway so it makes more sense to keep them there um but i, I do want to start making one video a week where it's actually like a proper video like and, and then edit it down and stuff like that um so and it's just working out how, how, how to do that and what software to use it and so i am actually looking around is this that witch? Uh, oh, it is your your Mara. Uh, your Mara, a simple hermit. Is this the one that won't get involved? Um, I can't remember. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Yeah, the, we are the, the crazy lady. Uh, <laughs> please, there's no need for that, though. Ramara's evil ways are precisely that. Ramara's. I am a neutral observer in the affairs of the world. Yeah, she's the prophet, isn't she? I think she's the prophet. She sees things. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean we're getting a prophecy again? Yeah, I thought she was. I thought she was. Why, if it ain't that, if it ain't the warrior cup, I've been expecting you. Please eat fruit from my tree. Really, don't mind if I do. It's just one now. This is unbelievable. What are they called? Pears. <laughs> pears, yeah. Well, I never used pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. I knew you were the chosen one. Huh? Being a seer has its perks, like, like no one who is capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. So, that's it. Yes. The threads of fate seldom speak to me about the near future. I own a deal in cataloging your grander arcs. My apologies, but I have no insights for you. Have you heard of the Vinci Resolver? I have. Uh, you like that and the free version. But is that is that on is that on PC? Or is it is it Apple? Because I don't have any 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 Apple devices, so it has to be PC. It's available on PC too. I'll have a look at it. Uh, cold breeze is rising. Uh, why don't you come in for a little bit? Yeah, I've heard of it, but I didn't know whether it was on PC or not. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my old work. Uh, Spirit will call, carry the night. I was really overthinking titles back then. Yeah, so the thought is um, because I'm starting to do review videos as well, which I've done two at the moment, but the more streaming videos, uh, but I've still reviewed the game. Um, and the devs actually giving me enough a key to review. 
um, which is like brilliant. I've just not got around to uh, reviewing it yet. Um, I got an email the other day as well saying like, um, like I don't mind sharing this on stream. But, um, it was like an opportunity with a bigger company um, to do reviews for them as well. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's great. And this is where now I'm like, I might have to like, you know, rather than doing like a streaming video like I'm doing now and then uploading it. Yeah, who fancy is actually doing like its own video and then, and then, and then producing that more, a little bit better. And so taking a bit more time to actually edit it, you know, cut things out and stuff like that and uh, put things in and, you know, and, st and like you would do in a normal video. Um, so so yeah and i i'm gonna have to start i'm gonna probably start working on that very soon um so i'm, I'm just waiting on the all the, the basically the go ahead well i've actually got one i've actually got one dev that's given me a key um to review again because he, he liked the first review and it's actually done pretty well as well um because how it how, how it goes is that they can track it via the twitch and the youtube um uh so it's actually done pretty good on the on the reviews so I mean, for me as a like a, somebody that's like obviously only started streaming last year, and then has only just kind of fell into this kind of like new area where you are actually doing a review is very new for me. Um, so, and I've even started reviewing. I've even got my own review page up on on Steam now as well. But I need to make it a little bit better. Um, where I've actually started reviewing some of the games and and actually like you know. Um, like in words like you know describing what's good about the game and, and so on and giving them a, my score and stuff like that um so and, and then that, that way um like once you start doing that uh they can start giving you keys as well um like review copies and stuff like that and again you don't know where that might might lead up um like you know i'm not asking for money or anything like that uh, at the moment because like um well, I don't I don't think it's um like quite, quite I'm quite there yet I need to be more like fleshed out in my own um like like identity in a way but you got to start somewhere and just having a free key from a dev is really nice it means I don't have to buy it myself oh that's where I put the old of seasons ah there it is Visual Occurities Volume 2. Let's see here. Oh, yes, I remember now. Enough for prophecy. This is exciting. Aha, I'm also an alchemist. Step forward. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. You fancy yourself a god if you like, but you remain bound by the fate of all the same. Like how she just calls them out straight away. <laughs> now listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them, one of them will be asking to fight alongside Solace Warriors. Be welcoming for this eternity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. Huh? What is she talking about? living glass what would it be true uh sorry uh do, 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 i think you should give da vinci resolve a look then uh many people say it's better than adobe premiere i definitely will do that uh thank you crown of the march i mean for me because like i said i need something that's easy to get into um, and, a, and a definitely a free version would be good for that because it gives you an, an idea it's just like a demo isn't it it gives you an idea of what the product is actually like before you go premium uh, or you like you said you might have to go like and get a subscription um like the free version might give me exactly everything i need um that will be all have your small inventory uh for items if, uh, for sale if needed and the fireplace is yours if you want to cook or rest oh you'll need a key to progress further here got your mora's key that's another key i've got thank you mora be well ah uh.
and see what she's got to sell. Let's see, uh, what have we got? Uh, what's this? Displays weaknesses, resistance, and non boss enemy HP in combat. That's actually pretty good. That's 888. God, that's a lot of money. I'm going to leave it there um, for tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to quickly read uh, our friend Aaron Party, who's playing uh, again uh, Poppy Playtime. Um, so we're going to read her and then we'll leave it with the stream with her, her capable hands. Uh, so thanks for joining in tonight. Uh, thanks for the birthday uh, things. But join in well tonight again uh for the birthday stream and again i will be giving away a gift to one lucky viewer um as, as my thank you for joining in and uh, we'll leave you with having party for the rest of the evening so quickly count down uh and we're reading having party who's playing poppy playtime in three two one and read now if it doesn't go over please tell me <laughs> 